The best thing about Formula E is it's just full of action. You know, the championship has come a tremendous long way. Formula E is obviously the next big thing in automotive racing. This car is unlike anything else that I've driven in the past. There's a different qualifying format this year, a different race format. We've gone from having one car manufacturer involved to nine car manufacturers involved, some of the biggest OEMs in the world. You never know who's going to win the race. It's like the world's fastest game of chess. You know, the viewership has increased. You know, the quality of the cities that we go to has, has increased. You never really know until the last lap. We love the way that Formula E is using technology, not just to go faster, but to do it in a responsible way. But it's Formula E and anything can happen. I think the important thing about, about the schedule is that it's global. We became a world championship. My teammate Jake Dennis was a rookie last year, so he kind of went through the same learning curve as me. Set a pretty high precedent for, for a rookie um, in the series last year. We were very unfortunate to not actually win a world championship with him in his rookie year. Overall, it was an incredible season. We had two wins, we had a pole position. He led the most laps out of anyone. For sure there's going to be competition between them, you know, they're always going to be looking at the timesheet as soon as they get out of the car. I think he, he definitely brings out the best in me. Yeah, Oliver's a great guy. Uh, he sort of came to the team, he's immediately like, immediately gelled and got along really well. We get along really well. Um, he's a very technical driver. He needs Oliver to perform at the highest level in just the same way that Oliver himself needs to perform at the highest level. I think it's important to be the quickest rookie through the year. I'd be lying to myself if I didn't say I want to try and win the championship. There's only one way forward and it's obviously to finish second or first and you may as well go all out and try and win the thing. Hopefully we can manage that and we can just encourage both of them to perform at a very high level. And now for Antoine to come over and take the full ownership basically is, uh, yeah, it's, it's an honour. We feel privileged and uh, grateful and really honoured to be able to call ourselves the Avalanche and really Formula E team. I think we have the right team, I think we have the right package. They definitely feel like family to me and it's been, yeah, it's been fantastic to have the opportunity to come back here and, and work with the, uh, the same, same group of people. Now, now I just need to do them proud and win some races for them. <laughs>